today we'll start with the UI scroll view here. So it's a very important uh, concept in the uh, iOS uh, thing, iOS application development. So this particular UI scroll view is used and inherited by a lot of views, like uh, UI web view, UI table view, UI collection view, UI mm, whatever. Yeah, a lot of views inherit this UI scroll view. UI scroll view is nothing but the dimensions of a view are bigger than the, uh, you know, uh, the the rect. The rect I mean, which with the rect I mean, uh, with the rect I mean, for example, uh, yeah, I, I, I'll show you. You know, uh, a view can be added as a subview using this command here, this one here. View add subview to subview. You know, right? Okay, so uh, this is a big, very big image here, and you want to show it in the iPhone. So one way is to, uh, you know, compress the image and put it in the bounds and uh, in the small view available here, right? That way you you will miss a lot of detail. You will not see it properly. So you want to see it. I mean. You just want to see the uh, you just want to see the content through this view here. Whatever content you want to see here, that way. See, for example, if it is added as subview here, it looks like this. If we add that same particular view to the subview here, this is what it happens. You see, you see, uh, you you make a subview of the size 2000, 2000 and add it as a subview as a scroll view. Then you can scroll through the image, through the entire dimension with the view here. You know what I mean? Okay. You know what I mean? So basically, like we will get a scroll bar. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. You will get a scroll bar completely. Yes. Mm -hmm. So a complete view is added behind this normal view. The the dimensions of this normal view is generally. Uh, uh, for a, for an iPhone uh, 4, the dimensions are uh, 320 by 4, 480, right? Mm -hmm. So you are just viewing the complete 3000 by 2000 with the help of 320 by 480 itself. Mm -hmm. So you are you are you are add, adding a sub view here. Scroll view dot content view equal to this is all the content view here, but you just want to view the sub view in this frame. You see, the size of the frame is only 120, 180. So yeah. you are adding it to it, and you just see it in, in this. Here in this case, 1500, 2500, 1600 is a sub view, and you add it here, and you you can just scroll through in the horizontally and vertically. So that's the funda here. Uh, and uh, maybe we will look at a live example where we have used a uh, scroll view. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show it in programmatically. For example, if the if it, if it is a table view, for example, it it automatically takes the scrolls. You don't need to worry about the dimensions at all. We just set the view view sub view dimensions here, and the content is scrollable automatically. That means the the content will be expanded beyond the dimensions of the table view, but it is scrollable. Okay, uh, maybe I'll I'll explain you that too. Most of the times you, you want the view to be scrollable because 
there are many use cases. I'll, I'll just go. Uh, yeah. For example, for for example, this view is crawlable. You see, the dimensions yeah. are just one zero two four by seven sixty eight. But I have made it crawlable because the the use case for this particular scrolling is if I click this, then the keyboard hides this server view. We cannot yeah. see what we are entering. In that yeah. case, we just scroll the view behind until here and enter the uh, the the field enter the correct text here. That's the mm -hmm. use case of this particular view. So what we do is, uh, you see, um, you do you, you remember we we how we added these view structure? The, yeah. Uh, the blue one is the background, front one is the foreground view, right? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in that case, what 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 uh, we have what we have done is PG view. Yeah, we have we have made the background view to be scrollable. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You see the scroll view here. First, we have added a scroll view on the top of it. We have added the background view. We have added the foreground view. And we are we are adding the scroll view to the self dot view here. And we are giving scroll view background color to be blue color. That way, so for example, we have taken a view here, the complete scrollable view. We are setting the bounds of the scroll scroll view here to uh, set yeah scroll view set frame yeah yeah okay set frame means the size of the frame set content size means the content you want to see i mean the the for example the size of a view size of a frame is 100 you want the view to be 130 into 1.3 that's what it means you know what i mean yeah. krishna am i clear you can understand yeah. me or no no uh, i got it i got it you got it right yeah. so for example For example, this is my iPad here view, yeah. and uh, this is my cont scroll view here. So the size of the bag, this one is the uh, content size here, and um, okay, the size of this one is the frame size frame here. That's what it means, okay? So I'm putting the I'm 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 giving the height to be 1.3 times of the actual size of the frame here. So you you can I mean you can just scroll through all these things here. You all above mm, above up to 1.0 to 130 is the case here. So I just uh, I'm giving the background view to be blue and the scroll view to be blue. So that's why there is no gap between. I mean, you don't see the difference between the background view and the scroll view here. You yeah. got the point, right? Yeah. Okay. So we go back to the scroll view. So adding a scroll view is nothing but we need to set the dimension of the view, view, and we need to set the, uh, the given. You need to set the dimensions of context content size here. So you uh, that that means. 
the size of the content size in, in the sense uh, how much the view actual view must be sized size of the view must be through which window through through which window you are actually trying to view the content that's what so you understand the difference between these two right okay okay so so positioning of a sub view in a scroll view here so you can position the content wherever you want to be uh, in the view so that's what it means so for example if you are if you are trying to position it at the 00 to 2500 to 2600 it shows at this point right yeah uh yeah one moment okay one more function here that is sub view dot frame equal to zero zero six hundred sixty hundred okay One moment, Krishna, I forgot. I mean, sure. To tell you one thing here. See, what's make. Okay, so one thing is Okay, okay. Here, one thing uh, I I I need to mention is you can get the content offset here every time. For example, you can scroll through the content, right? So, if you say, I mean, at which point you are at, you are right now viewing is, you can get that using this function here. You uh, scroll you dot content offset gives you. Uh, the point at which the origin is here, origin yeah. of this view is here. Yeah. You got it? Yeah, I, I got it. Content offset. So from from the scroll view origin to the view origin, so the, the window origin as of now, with respect to the scroll view, you you will get it. Definitely. Uh, okay. Like now, say like we have scrolled to the uh, say like uh, 50 pixels, then. Yes. What would that function do? Like uh, the top left most if you are highlighting it would be 50 or still 0? For example, in this case, if this uh, uh, for example, if this point is x comma y, right, for example, let's say. 
so the content offset of x would be x from from this point this is 0 0 for example so the content offset should be, uh, of x this particular point would be x and the content offset of y would be y with respect to this 0 0 here that means how much you scroll through the scroll view okay, okay. sometimes this is important to understand uh, through which content you are actually scrolling through right. for example I mean from this view you navigate to other view and when we come back to this 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 particular scroll view again just want to have the same position same view to be positioned there I mean the same content offset to be positioned there you you want the view to be positioned here then you would apply the content offset here scroll view has something called set scroll content offset uh, and you give this point you save this point you go to another view and you when you when you come back to this view again you set the content offset and you will see here most of the times when when this is useful is uh, you scroll through a, a number of contacts for example you select a contact and you go to another page to view the contact in detail and when you co come back from contact to the again co uh, contacts view you set the scroll view offset content offset there to have the same uh, I mean for, for, for which contact you are actually seeing you see the same contact there once again you got it yeah okay, yeah okay sure oh okay so the scroll view dot bounds gives you the visible area through which you are actually viewing that means this view bounds so that gives you the scroll view bounds okay that means the, the yellow portion of this one. That, that means it I mean, gives like uh, both like the top left, top right, which is all the four coordinates. Yes. For example, in this case, I'm setting the frame of a scroll view to be uh, zero, zero, hundred, two hundred. For example, this is the size frame mm -hmm. of the scroll view. But my content a content size is zero zero hundred two sixty. So you if you mean the bounds, this is the bounds. It it exists from zero zero until two hundred in vertical direction. But if you mean the content, it exists until two sixty. That's what it means. You got it. The mm -hmm. visible portion of the of the uh, scroll view is nothing but the bounds. Even the, okay. the the content of the scroll view exists, or uh, I mean, or for example, in this case, this is yeah, I got it. Yeah, right. I got it. Yeah, right. got it. Yeah. So you get the visible rect. For example, uh, if you for example, uh, uh, you this point this particular point here so this is nothing but the you get it via content offset right this point you will get it content offset plus the dimensions give you the visible rect of the bounds with respect to the scroll view this is the scroll view here this is the scroll view bounds here you want to find the coordinates and bounds of the scroll view with respect to the uh, with respect to the, I mean, with respect to the scroll view itself. So then you will get it like this: visible rect equal to convert rect scroll view dot bounds to sub view. Then it gives you the the coordinates with respect to the scroll scroll view. And for example, if you touch it here, I mean, yeah, I'll I'll show you. Uh, okay, you know, you see my mouse. Do you, do you see my mouse yeah yeah it's okay. okay so this particular point is zero zero right top zero zero right 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 so if I, if I click here it gives me zero zero to this sub view to the to the present view but with with respect to the scroll view it is different right 
with reference to the sub view with reference to this view it's zero zero because right. the view coordinates start from zero zero but the scroll view behind will be zero starts from see ah yeah, if i'm sure really sir one minute okay i'm really sure, sorry. Sir, no, no, no. like guess sir there is room and i'm missing lot of my one second okay i'm really sorry okay. no problem no problem Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So in this case, for example, uh, the 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 point which I touch here is zero zero with respect to the the sub view here, but with respect to the scroll view present in the background, it may be different point, right? Because right. Yeah. Scroll through some possible. distance. You have scrolled through some distance, and you may you might be at a different point. So you get the actual point with respect to the scroll view using this one. Scroll view right. convert. Yeah. View to rec convert point. There, there are two functions: convert rect and convert point. Okay. Right. So if you give convert point and give the point here to view sub view, it gives you the points with respect to the scroll view. Right. And okay. in the same way, if you give a point referencing to the scroll view and you want that point to be converted to to the view here, you can convert the same. This is the reference view. and this is the convert converted view that's what it means there are two okay. functions convert point and convert rect okay okay so okay okay so if you see here uh, we 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 here how i mean here it it all explain how uh, this particular view is done i mean you are adding an image to a scroll view and you are scrolling through the image view That's what it is, or that's what it is all. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. I'll explain you how it is done. So, uh, okay, you take an image view. You know, image view. So right. you you uh, you give an image to the image view. This is how you give an image to an image view here. An image to the image view here. I lock in it with image image. So how you give I mean how you initialize the image pointer is like this. U I image star image equal to U I image image named big name dot image big image dot jpg. So give the name here of the image, and it it gives you the image pointer here. Okay. So but this particular image must be in the resources folder. I'll I'll tell you. Okay. so it gives you an image pointer here and you create an image view with the image pointer and you add the image view to the scroll view here now you set the scroll view dimension and you set the scroll view content size that's it it's done right correct yeah so i mean it here the image view takes the bounds of an image here image will have a resolution right image resolution so it takes the bounds are the, the bounds of the image to the image view for example uh, i'll show you uh, no, no, uh, yeah, uh, there is still in the uh, in the same side one yes. question yes yes in the same side in the same no, box, no. in the same function call no no yeah i, I have one thought no below what is that content size scroll view dot content size what is the purpose uh, of that that's what okay That's what we have. Uh, I mean, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. You uh, already called. Sorry. Okay. Sure, sure. No problem. No problem. Hmm. No problem. So, the content size of a scroll view is the entire size of the image here. Oh. Okay. For example, okay. the size of an image. Right. Right. Zero zero to three thousand two thousand. But you cannot see the complete size in the in an iPhone here. Right. You, right. I mean, right. you can restrict the size. 2002 i mean yeah 3000 to 300 2000 to 200 then you will see the image in a very small way 
which is not good, right? Right, right. Yeah. So this way, content size means that's what I mean. We have. Uh, that's uh, we yeah. Have, I have written. I mean, yeah. This one here too, right? Right. right. So the content, yeah, content size, size is the whole size. Yeah. Yeah, whole size of the view scroll view, but the view size is small through through the window you are actually viewing the content. Just a small window, you are actually viewing the big big content through scrolling. You know what I mean? Okay. So yeah, the uh, the content size is nothing but the the UI image view size here, but you can set. Through which size you are actually trying to view the uh, window. So that way you you set the scroll view frame here, and content size is nothing but the image view bounds here. And your, if you set the scroll view size, scroll view frame. You you understand the difference, Krishna? Here, scroll view frame and scroll scroll view content size. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, uh, I got it. Yeah. Okay. For example, let me. Uh, okay. I'll try to give you a live example here. Uh, height minus, let's say, 400. And I'll start this here at 200. Now it is like it is using the scroll view is using the complete dimensions here. But now I am restricting the size of the scroll view, but uh, having the scroll view content size as it is. So that way you can see the difference between the content view size and the scroll view size. See? Do you see the difference? Yeah. So the size of a scroll view is now is only I mean I've restricted the size of this. Through this mm -hmm. window, I'm actually viewing the entire content view here. Right. The content size remains the same, but the view size I mean the scroll view size is reduced. Right. You know what I mean? Now right. at least. Yeah. You understand the difference between the content size and uh, the view scroll view size? Right. Okay. So the scroll view size is nothing but you are saying like the frame, right? Uh, yes, frame. Right. Yes, okay. exactly. Yeah. Scroll view size is nothing but the frame through yeah. which you actually see the uh, the scroll view. Right. Content view size is the size of the actual content background. Right. Right. So in this case, maybe you might want to uh, tell me. So which one is the content size and which one is the frame size? The content yeah. size is the size of the image and yeah. the scroll uh, the size of what the image yellow window. Yeah, whatever is visible. Exactly, whatever is visible, whatever the size of the frame you want to, right? You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Fine, fine. Scroll. So uh, other things. These are like not really needed. Oops. 
So you can actually there are two possibility. I mean, there there is one more possibility of a scroll view here. That is the zoomy. You can actually zoom through the scroll view. That means you can make the uh, you can make the the rect to uh, different rect with this with each scrolling with each zoom in, with the pinch functionality. Okay. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I got like uh, uh, zoom in, like uh, it's zooming in and out, like increasing yes, the exactly. size. Yeah. So, for example, if you want to zoom in here, login, login page here, zoom in. So, with the zoom in, you'll see the zoom of this actual view here, the content, right. the content inside here. So right. that way, I mean, you with just with just with the zoom in functionality, I mean, you can set the minimum zoom in scale and the maximum zoom in scale. With that. You can you can just uh, set the scale every time for the content view, uh, for the scroll view, and it will it will automatically apply. But in the background, what happens is there are some transformations like affine transformations, which are called which are like tra tra uh, translate, scale, and rotate. So these affine transformations are something like this. Uh, for example. There is a view here. I mean, this is the iPhone view, okay. And uh, there is another view. You just position it here, okay. This is another view. You you position it here with respect to this. So ideally, this is here only. But it applies some affine transformation translation to the zero zero. And you see it here. Uh, maybe I'll write it coordinates here so that it will be better. Zero zero. Twenty twenty. So the translation here is twenty twenty, right? Yeah. You know what translation is. So 20 in terms of width and 20 in terms of height, right? Mm -hmm. So ideally, this view is here only, but it applies from translation 2020 to be visible at this area. You got it? Right. Mm -hmm. So there is one matrix called transformation matrix. It's called transformation matrix. Mm -hmm. So it 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 looks like this. Uh, you know matrices, right? Four by four matrices. Mm -hmm. So one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 one. You see this? So yeah. the first three by three matrix is the rotation matrix. These three values are, which are highlighted here. Is the trans translation matrix? These three values are the scale. scale uh, I mean, yeah, scale, scaling scaling values. This one. I hope you understand what I mean. Yeah, yeah I, I got. Yeah. Okay, sure. So, I mean, if you apply this matrix to a point, it will be, uh, it will be translated, transformed to another point. That way, I mean, if you apply some scale here. It, it it indirectly applies in the I mean a tra affine transformation matrix will be constructed with the help of the scale and it applies to the view and it automatically applies to the scroll view in the behind. You know what I mean? So you don't need to do all these things. You just set the zoom scale and it it will be done automatically for you. Okay. Uh, I think right. you know what I mean. Yeah. No, I got it. Okay. Sure. Uh, I mean, for example, if you see the scroll view zoom scale is 1.0 here, but if if you apply 1.2, it looks like this. Yeah. So you see, you see the, I mean, you see the difference between these two images. Yeah. Okay. So, for example, if you want to zoom into the director, you can you can set that. You you have a function to 
zoom to right and it the rect will be positioned like this okay <laughs>